You okay? Sure. <laughs> well, this is one of the highlights of having cystic fibrosis. Really? The manual pounding? Yeah. Okay. We should open a dungeon. There's dudes who would pay top dollar to have a girl like you beat them to a pulp. You're a little pervy, Gabe. <clears throat> okay. So, spirometer time. Let's see how those lungs are doing. Hello. This is a family hospital, Veronica. Blow. Blow, 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 blow. Gabe, your FVC is only two liters. Six weeks ago, you could do three. What's going on? I went out of town for a gig, and I passed out. And I had to go to the hospital, and they gave me a blood transfusion. Have you seen a doctor since then? No, I just got this new job, and everything's been a little crazy. But I am now the resident piano man at Hutley's. You should come down and see me sometime. Sure, but we really can't miss these treatments. We got to stay on top of this. <coughs> I am. <coughs> Gabe Tyler, how's it going, sir? Well, um, apparently I have a pseudomonas infection, and this one's all frowners on me. <laughs> Well, she has a right to be concerned. Your lung function has really declined lately. I think a lung transplant is the next step. And with numbers like these, your lung allocation score should put you at the top of the list for a transplant. Seriously? Yeah, in fact, I want you to spend the night here at Mercy. <coughs> get a serious tune-up. Okay. Oh, I gotta get this. All right, Gabe. Uh, hang tight. If there's lungs out there, we're gonna find them for you. Great. So when you wake up, New lungs, and I will be right here waiting. What? Gabe, I'm sorry, we have to cancel the surgery. Gabe, did you get a blood transfusion recently? Um, like a month ago, in upstate New York. What? Okay, that explains it. Whoa. Did they mess up my blood or something? Well, the transfusion caused you to become sensitized. Your body would almost certainly reject a new set of lungs. I'm so sorry, Gabe. Ah, uh, that's okay. I, I mean, well, it's a good thing that you caught it in time, right? I, I guess it wasn't meant to be. Isn't there anything that we can do? Well, possibly. There's a, a process called a desensitization protocol. It's still in its experimental stages, but it involves anything from a whole body irradiation, plasma phoresis, where a machine removes the antibodies from your blood, or IV immunoglobulin. It's an involved process, and it puts you at risk for further infection, but if you went through with it, your body might accept a new set of lungs. Wait, wait, did you say might accept them? Well, there's no guarantee, but I think it's the best chance that we've got. Aren't there any other options? Gabe needs a transplant, and the only shot we have at getting one is this treatment. But we should get it going right away, start the plasma phoresis right, going. Right, but, um, uh, do you guys mind if I just take a minute? It's a little overwhelmed. Do you understand the risks and consequences of what you're undertaking? Yes. I understand. What's happening? Let me be clear. If you don't go through the desensitization protocol, there's absolutely no chance of a lung transplant. I hear you. But I'm, I'm done here. You're leaving? Gabe, you can't leave now. You're making a mistake. There's no time to give up. I'm not giving up. I'm just getting started. <laughs> Thank you for everything, Dr. Sands. You... Gabe, you know that if you don't get that transplant soon, you... you're going to die. Yes. Yep. They've been telling me that my whole life. But uh, I'm tired, and I'd rather spend the rest of my life actually living. Don't you get it? Look, I appreciate that you care so much, but I, you can't understand what it's like. And I'm, I'm just sick of fighting, and I just want to live for a second and be normal. But I, I think you're great, Veronica, and I, I hope you come and see me play sometime. If you go through with this, you will not be playing in that stupid piano bar for much longer. I, I hope you don't mean that. <laughs>